Joe Bowen, voice of the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. This is a it's a thrill to chat with you. I don't want to count all of our chickens before we're hatched. You've seen a lot of the Leafs teams over the years. You've seen the good ones, the bad ones. This really does feel like it could be the year, though, doesn't it? Well, if it's not the year, it's definitely the beginning of a window of opportunity. And I don't know how many teams you could say that of. Um, back in the 90s when Gilmore and Clark and company, that window you knew was was small because the team was an older group. When Matt Sundin was around, they had Gary Roberts and Joey Neuendijk, and you also realized that window was probably small. Um, this group, you would look at it and you say, you know what, there's five, six years here that they should be in the tournament and then let the cards fall where, where they may. Um, during the summer, before Mr. Carlson got traded to uh, San Jose, someone flat asked me, said, who's going to win the Stanley Cup? And I said, why not us? Why not the Maple Leafs? And, and, and I don't think that it's a bad uh, thought uh, or, or prognostication, and a lot of the guys with the funny noses in Vegas seem to think it's pretty good too, but having said that, I mean, that it, too many things can happen, and uh, Washington is a perfect example. Their window of opportunity looked like it was closing, but they got one more shot at it, and by God, they ended up winning it. So that's where I think this franchise is, and, and that's what's exciting. It's not just one and done. It's not, yeah, we got really close and really disappointed, and now what? Uh, this is going to be long term, I think, and that's something that I think they sh tried to do. That's what the rebuild was all about, and now we have to see if they can reap the benefits. Lou Lamorello is uh, no longer in town, and then lo and behold, look at that, the uh, restrictions on facial hair have been lifted. Who yeah, is? I noticed you got that memo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you think that? Thank you. Who, who on this Leaf squad, as young as they are, is most likely to go Joe Thornton first? <laughs> Well, won't be Marner. I don't think you can find peach fuzz on that face. I, you know what? I don't know. Uh, well, let's start with Nazem Kadri, who can probably grow a beard in an hour and a half. So we'll work on on his. I would think that if he wanted to, I'm pretty sure he could be Joey Thornton uh, uh, instead of from St. Thomas. He'd be from London. So I. But you know what? I, it's it's a different way of doing business. Lou has his ways. Uh, he uh, certainly uh, clamped down on a lot of things. Uh, micromanager to some extent. Kyle Dubas has, you know, learned from him, but he's also his own man. Uh, he'll make his own decisions, and one of them is to maybe lighten that aspect up of the dressing room anyway. Quickly before we let you go, Joe, uh, you've called countless games, and I know there might be too many to mention, but can you can you zero in on one of your favorite calls of all time that you made? Uh, you know, uh, the one that always sticks in my mind is Nicky Borshevsky's goal in 93, and really that was ending a long stretch of the 80s where this team had no chance. And we got the goal right because it was a real small deflection of a point shot from Bob Rouse. And we just happened to be at the right end of the Joe Lewis Arena to actually see it and then call it that way. So I think that was an exciting moment then. But we've had an awful lot of other ones from Matt Sundin's games to the game in Ottawa where they were hanging on by their thumbs. And, uh, you know, so hopefully the, the most memorable one is yet to come. Joe, um, you know, yeah, I love your calls. I think the one thing that your call's missing, you need like a catchphrase or something, like a, like a, like a holy doodle or a... Yeah, I'm working on it. My dad used to say that when I was a kid, and uh, I never used it in junior or in the American Hockey League, and one night I blurted it out in <laughs> Chicago, and Holy Mackinac came out, and Bill Waters fell down. He was laughing so much, so we've used it again. Joe, I love it. Thanks so much for your time. My pleasure. Enjoying our time down here yeah. with the people in Lucan. Thank you, Joe. You bet.